How we doing, everybody? It is your boy once again here, Mr. Rodriguez. Pleasure of mine to be here as always. We love being here. And we're here with something that is special to me. YouTuber apologies. And how great, concise, informative, important these YouTuber apologies are. So the main reason I'm trying to make this video is obviously David Dobrik, he made an apology video. Super duper duper horrendous apology video, as you should frequent here on YouTube, obviously. But he actually took it a little step further. Um, he did a bunch of more stuff than just a simple trash apology, right? You checked out every box requirement that was needed for this for the YouTube apology checkbook. So good for you. So if you haven't been aware, for the past a uh, month or two months, I think it has been. The A Street, H Street podcast has basically taken upon themselves to put a light on their beautiful David Dobrik, which he took forever to respond to all this BS and bullshit, but we got a response from him, which is his apology that he titled, Let's Talk. Comments are off. And uh, like to this, like ratio is also off. So I don't know. Um, I guess he does the talking. We just listen. There's a lot of horrendous stuff that David Dobrik has to basically apologize for. The stuff that they did to Seth, he basically vlogged a. Ugh, that's tough. But hey, um, anything for a fun vlog, anything for a good time with the homies, right? Uh, before this, also as well, subordinates because that's what they all look like, made an apology of his own, which was super weird. And the apology was basically him talking for David. David sent them a video talking more shit about Seth instead of just apologizing, which I guess is super duper hard to just apologize. That's in the beginning. H3H3 has been talking about this for like a hot minute uh, with Trisha Paytas and the Frenemies podcast and all that. Uh, they interviewed the people. You know, a lot of people are basically saying the same things. It seems, seems too spicy. And like they say, a lot of people don't talk about this, which is wild. And the fact that he even did an apology is also wild. But I'm pretty sure it's because Insider made an article basically saying that he vlogged. That's, yeah, that's, what the fuck, bro? That's, that's why. Let's watch David Dobrik's apology. Title, Let's Talk. It's David. Um, I want to come on here real quick and address some conversations that have been going on on the internet. Um, I, you know, I've made over 600 videos and I've made a bunch of TikToks, Vines, Instagram stories, tweets, the whole thing. Um, and I'm obsessed with what I do. I love being able to. I thought, I thought this was an apology video. I don't... So promoting yourself within an apology video. I'd say yikes. But the whole point is that you guys are doing the typical YouTuber apology. And I gotta say you're doing a great job, honey. You're doing a great job. I mean, I love it to the point that you're doing this apology on your third channel, not your main channel, with comms disabled. But hey, who am I? I mean, I'm just a small YouTuber. I don't get it, you know? <laughs> Pretty sure if I was as big as y'all, I would do the same. I would hire a PR team that sucks dick and you know, wouldn't help me out at all. But that's just me. Um, that being said, consent is something that's super, super important to me. Whether I'm shooting with a friend or shooting with a stranger, I always make sure that whatever the video I'm putting out, I have the approval from that person. It's funny he says that consent is very important to him, even though he doesn't respect the people in his squad, called the vlog squad or whatever. When Seth was there, he was trying to offer him or bribe him. Keep up the video or upload the video of him kissing Jason, which is the video that he got sexually assaulted. And he, that happened twice. But yeah, he does take out the videos if consent is not there. Just like he left Trisha Paytas' videos up, even though she didn't want them up. And she wasn't okay with them. Sure. Or when he also recorded her naked, which that's, that's another story in itself. I mean, Jason is a weirdo for the shit he did. But like... Come on, bro. Stop the cap. Stop the fakeness. I mean, go off, dude. Uh, just make people happy. Keep on forcing stuff on your videos. Go ahead. There's times where a person can change their mind and they decide that they no longer want to be associated and no longer want to be in the video that I'm putting up and then I'll take the video down. And there's also been moments where I've looked back on videos and I realized that these don't represent me anymore and they're hurtful to other people and I don't, 
I don't want them up because I've I've grown, you know, as a content creator and as a person, and I don't <laughs> agree with some of the videos I've posted. Just a little, um, just a sponsorship with for himself. The Seth situation. I'm sorry to Seth because I, like I said, I I would just want to make videos where everybody in it, you know, whether you're participating or watching. So now he's sorry to Seth, even though he did this on another video. Messages and found one of Seth's numbers asking him to do the kissing prank a third time. Seth literally requested to do it a third time. Guys, this is a text from Seth from about two years ago. He goes, yo, bro, I was thinking about it. I'm down for another kissing sketch. I said, haha, what do you mean? He goes, lol, I don't really care as long as you clout me up. I'm not gay, just don't care. And then he sends me this. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't. No, I mean, it's not really a big deal. I mean, it's the same shit. Just, I don't know, more open-minded. I don't know if Seth completely forgot about that or if he just hoped that David would never find it the way that he hoped that David had a new computer and didn't have the extra four hours of footage that surrounded the four minute and 20 vlog that included the bit of him consenting to the prank. I want to remind you that this bozo says that they have a video about consent, yet they don't. You know, they haven't posted it. They don't fucking have it. And at the same time, I mean, he already did it two times because you fucking bozos basically forced him to do it two times. Just assaulted him, basically. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't care after the, the third time if it if it's good for him or he think it'll be good for him. You already humiliated him and ruined his reputation, especially back home to the point they had to move to Atlanta. But today we pulled a prank on oh. on my friend Seth. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's, yeah. And now you probably, can talk about it. It's probably the best prank I've ever I've ever pulled on anyone in my opinion. That, that, it, that it's it's a mask. And I told him I told Seth, "Hey man, I want to do this bit. It's like a dream sequence where you where you make out with the mask guy and it just looks like you're dreaming and you're making out with an old man because the mask makes you look like an old man." And I'm like, Corinna's gonna be in it, and Corinna's a girl in my vlogs. And he's like, and he's he thinks Corinna's really attractive. So Corinna's like, kind of like the hot girl in David's vlogs. Yeah. So, so so he's like, so he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm totally down. And I'm like, yeah, Seth, just have as much tongue as you want. Just keep kissing her. And but what what Seth didn't know is that I replaced Corinna with Jason. <laughs> so Jason was under the mask. Seth leans in, and as he's leaning in, I'm like, fuck yeah, I got it. It's game over. It's in the bag. How fucking disgusting is that? A 40-something-year-old man literally talks about sexually assaulting somebody else as if it's, like, the best thing ever in his fucking life. Like, how disgusting and how shitty. It's awful because poor guy had to go through that. And his friends are probably going to chew him out for that for the next, like, three, five years of his life. <laughs> well, as Seth tells it, the uh, homosexuality is not so accepted in his, where he comes from. <laughs> Seth's from Compton. Dudes kissing dudes is not so accepted. Seth's from Compton, so it's, like, the perfect, like, least straight dudes kissing. Imagine being that much of a loser. Now you want to apologize after you sent this bozo, talk more shit about him, and ruin more of his image. I feel this video was supposed to rate the apology. But I feel it switched up to more of a ranty video because, to be honest, imagine being such a piece of shit of a person. Like, what are you doing? Like, you're not making people happy, David Dobrik. Uh, you've, you've vlogged some fucked up shit. You do some fucked up shit. Obviously, you're never on the camera. You're never on the other side of the camera. You're just recording it. You're just forcing your friends or bribing your friends to do stupid shit is enjoying and having a good time and i missed the mark with that one and i'm really sorry I, I truly truly am um like dom and you know the other people that i no longer film with i i chose to distance myself because i don't align with some of the actions and i don't i don't stand for any kind of misconduct and i i'm that's very cute you saying that that's very cute you trying to push it all on your homeboy dom even though it was basically mostly a lot of it your fault uh he even thanks you in the video mr director so i don't i don't know what you're trying to do pushing the blame on your homie obviously your homie is the one that should be blamed the most but i mean you created the environment bro you made this possible I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a horrendous apology. Um, I don't know who 
I mean, this is obviously made for his fans that don't really know nothing or won't know nothing and will blindly still support him regardless of whatever the fuck he does. This is made for them. And that's cool. But to the people that it's not made us, for the people that it's not made for, which is us, I see that it's very, very hard to, like, apologize for your actions. You could have done this a while ago. I mean, you could have done this years ago. I mean, you knew that Seth wasn't okay with this. You knew about all the other Vlad Squad members. I mean... I mean, maybe you didn't know because you just bully them and then if they leave, they leave and you don't even care. But it's crazy that even Logan Paul, out of all people, Logan Paul, <laughs> called this bullshit and called it. For real, like time to move on. Uh, we get it, you're hot now, but I think I can speak for everyone who knows you. If you keep this attitude up, your time is coming. I was there, dude. I was in there, so ease up, Tiger. Logan Paul is on the right side of history and you're not. I don't know, man. I think it's time to pack it up. Uh, once again, I do apologize. I feel like the video was supposed to be a YouTuber's apology video. Uh, we didn't really go over YouTuber's apologies. And we just ranted about a person that's a piece of shit. I know, right? Hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Shoutouts to Insider for the article that they made. That made this bozo finally speak out and say something. So, shout out, shout out, shout outs. If you can help out with comments and likes on the video, I would appreciate it a lot. And also, you know, if you want to subscribe, please do subscribe. We have other videos, maybe some less ranty, but thank you. Have a good one.